If you've ever logged into your LinkedIn account and seen a notification like this, you might have felt like, yes! Yes! but I'm here to tell you that it doesn't really matter. What's going on world, it's your boy Alex Miner. I'm a video marketing strategist and on this channel we talk about video marketing, LinkedIn, social media, gear reviews, any and everything that crosses my mind because I'm a nerd and I like a lot of stuff. But if that sounds like something you're into, make sure to hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads and uh, make sure to dig into the comments section and leave me something to talk to you about. How to get posted to trend and how to properly use hashtags are two of the most frequent questions I get when it comes to LinkedIn. And I get it, you see those notifications and it seems really important but the thing I really want you to understand is that it doesn't really matter from what I can tell and I've been testing all of this for months all the trending means is that your post is currently the most engaging or one of the most active for a hashtag on a given day and it's really easy to get a post to trend if you choose the right hashtag so how do you know what hashtags to choose go to the search bar and just look them up the current popular wisdom is that that you should have three hashtags on a post, no more, no less, and that two of them should be hashtags with a large following and one should be a hashtag with a smaller following. Now, from what I've found, if you have more than three hashtags, it doesn't negatively impact the reach of your post, but it seems like only the first three hashtags matter. One of the most interesting tidbits that I found is that if you copy the URL of your post and put it in the web browser, those first three hashtags that you use in a post are part of your post URL. And if you're trying to get a post to trend, you're only going to trend for one of those first three hashtags. I've tried it. I've looked at other people's posts and you almost never see anyone trend for the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth hashtag. Matter of fact, I've only ever seen one person trend for the fourth hashtag. And that was a hashtag with a super small following about 4,000 or 5,000 followers. So it means basically nobody on LinkedIn is checking for it. So can having a trending post lead to more views and engagement on your content? Yes, but it's typically not very much. What happens is LinkedIn starts sending notifications to people who follow that hashtag, but also have a company page on LinkedIn, encouraging them to interact with your content under that company name. So if you start seeing a bunch of likes and comments from companies, that's what's happening. Your post is trending. But this typically starts happening three to five days after your post is already put up, and most posts are dead in the water by then. Uh, will hashtag become more important in the future? I think so because currently it's the only way to search for content by subject on LinkedIn. Most of the search functions are still geared toward finding people rather than content. Um, how will that change? How will it become a bigger deal? I don't know, but I got the feeling that because content is becoming such a big priority for LinkedIn that it's going to become more important. So if you've been losing sleep trying to figure out what the perfect hashtags are for your content on LinkedIn, I'd stop because it doesn't really matter that much. And if you have a personal hashtag, you know, one that's unique to you that you're using in all of your content, I would make that your fourth hashtag or fifth or whatever, just not one of those first three because if you are trying to trend, you're taking up one of your spots. Uh, but that's all that I got for you. If you got any questions, leave them down below. It's your boy Alex Miner. I'm out. I'll see you on the next video and uh, have a good day.